Central Coast boy. Your minor? Your minor, Nico, yeah. 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 Growing up, only ever wanted to be a professional rugby league player? Is that yeah, the... um, I think Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, um, once I started playing when I was about five years old, it's all I ever th thought of, dreamt of, and yeah. um, wore me footy gear to, to bed. Yeah. <laughs> the nights, on a Friday night for a Saturday, I would be always wearing my footy gear to bed and yeah. waking up going straight into it. So, um, yeah, it's all I've ever known, really. I listened to your talk uh, recently, publicly. You know, talked about, the, you know, the, the struggles for you and your family. Jeez, mate, you guys had to endure a lot. Uh, my mum was in, uh, in and out of jail um, for, from when I was about five to 12 years old. So pretty much my whole primary school life, I um, had to live without a mum. And she would come out and she'd only be out for a short period of time. And I remember there was this one um, moment that I'll never forget. And I look across the oval and then uh, there's a teacher there standing with my mum with a, a slip for me to go home early. And I'll never forget the day I just sprinted across the, uh, the oval and jumped straight in my mum's arms. It was the first time I've seen her. And, a pretty long time and um, yeah that's that's a moment that, I, that I'll never forget and uh, probably I was I don't know it was a year or whatever it was later I remember mum coming uh, got me out of school and um, yeah we went home after I got a few awards and then I'll never forget this day either because it was a day I, I watched her get taken away in, in a paddy wagon. Yeah we did yeah. Um, but it's made me to who I am at the moment yeah. so I wouldn't change any of it. Um, obviously, would have liked to have things different, but it is what it is, and uh, I just have to move on and, and do what I can to, to be the best person I am and help my family out the best way possible. As a field nigger, sometimes does it, does it? How hard is it to sort of let that weight go? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it is. Like yeah. there's the times there where I didn't feel like I could um, talk to anyone about anything, so I just kind of held yeah. it all in. And um, obviously, there's a point where. I was like, you know, I can't do it anymore. So, yeah, um, yeah, it gets really tough. But like I said before, it's, it's made me who I am. Yeah, I remember watching you. I, I used to hear a bit about you, Nico, and then around that 2015-2016 period, started sort of have a have a look at you. And some some of the games you played in under twenties were mate, you were outstanding. And then I remembered you going up. They pushed you up into the New South Wales Cup, and made from the outside looking in, Nico. Around 2016, you know, you're about to sort of grab your lifelong dream. Yeah. And then, mate, they, they, I remember you were playing a game, might have been the under 20s, and you were, you were absolutely brain it, then you come up with an injury. Then out of nowhere, you're gone. They just, they let you go. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what was that about? What, what happened there? <laughs> That's a million dollar question, to be honest. I don't, I don't, really don't know. Um, I just done the, the pre season with the NRL leading into the 16th season when Trent Barrett came in and um, yeah, I felt like I was really going to hit my straps that year and actually done the pre-season for free too. So yeah, didn't right. get paid for it and just out of school and it was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a struggle as well. But had a, a contract there. They said we want to sign you for two years after I'd done the pre-season. I was like, you beauty, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I've been here my whole life, so let's do it. And once I got injured, it kind of they just, they just didn't really, they forgot about me, I guess. Well, talking about that where, as you said, since you're a young kid, all you want to do is be Professional, professional rugby league player. Then you're at, it's there. You're about to grab it. Then all of a sudden, it's just snatched away. Mate, how much did that? Did it knock you for six? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And then the unknown came because I didn't know where I was going to be, and uh, no, no other NRL clubs really come knocking um, at the back end of 2016. And I find that hard to believe. And I was, yeah, I, I kind of did as well. And I seen like other players in the 20s getting signed, and I was kind of worried about all those players, what they're doing, rather than worrying about what I, what I was doing. And I was thinking, well, how's he getting signed when I've, I've done this and I've played better than him, what I, I reckon I did, but yeah. I probably obviously didn't, I guess. But yeah. Um, yeah, and it was heartbreaking, you know, you just, once you play 20s, you do an NRL pre-season, you think, there we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting my debut, I'm gonna be playing NRL for a long time, and then yep. you're not. And then it's just like, yeah. it just hits you. I'm like, what, what do I do now? Like, yeah. the manager's calling me saying, you might have to do um, like a part-time roll at another club and I was like, I don't want to be part-time, I want to be full-time, you know, and it just wasn't happening and ended up having to go up to, to North Queensland. And that's, that's the thing, Nico, is everyone can relate to this to different degrees, but a lot of times, mate, when everything's going good, things get, gets, they get masked a little bit and then, mate, you have to go to Mackay, you know, you're out by yourself, you're sort of trying to pick, pick the pieces up and rebuild your career and, and, and listen to your talk, things really bottomed out there. Yeah, they did for sure. Um, I, I always say that it kind of it made me moving away, but it almost broke me as well. You know, um, didn't move away with a lot of money. I had a girlfriend at the time, and moving out of home for the first time is hard. And my girlfriend didn't come with me, and 
Uh, I didn't have a job when I got there and it just it got a little bit hard and uh, I didn't really want to reach out to, to family to talk to them about it and I kind of lent on my girlfriend and that didn't work out and everything just went on a downward spiral and uh, yeah, and turned out ended up having depression and yeah. uh, went through that for a fair bit, but probably that, that whole year and um, yeah, I, I didn't really know how to deal with it. Um, I had a, a really good mate of mine, my roommate Boothie, who was there to help me get through it, which was very lucky, and, and ended up calling my mum and my brother and to get me through it as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was a, yeah. a really tough period of my life and um, something that I wish didn't happen, but again, it's made me yeah. to who I am now and it's made me work extremely hard to get to, to where I am now as well. For you, mate, what, 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 does rock, what does rock bottom feel like or look like to you? What was it? What was the day? Um, oh, empty, just a complete empty feeling. And, and I remember there was one day I was just playing on the ground in, in my own hands in, in tears. And I remember that day was something I, I never ever wanted to feel like again. And uh, my roommate actually come home to me laying on the, the, the ground crying, my ball in my eyes. I just had no idea why. And so that, that was a, a rock bottom time. And then there was another time I went home and um, suicidal thoughts come to my, my head. and. And I was like, no, I've got to do something about this. And, and that's when I, I finally went to counselling and, and, and got the help I needed. What were the triggers, Nico, look, looking back that sometimes would seem just spiralling? Um, going home, there was memories of my ex. Um, so going through that breakup and going home and having memories of that. Um, probably seeing other players who I used to play against playing NRL and succeeding. Yeah. And I thought that I should have been there. Yeah. Um, yeah, just little things like that and yeah. you know when you you I had my first love and I wasn't and she was off with another other guy so yeah. you know, that as well just all those little things um, yeah. and they turned into big things as well yeah 